What's up, really, man? Really, 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 What's up, man? What's going on, bro? Oh, man. Gonna be. Oh, man, dude, man. What? Come on, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, man. Can't judge a book by its cover, man. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Nice to meet you, man. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, man. Dude, I was walking around and I saw this. I'm like, this is like a little mini comic book. Oh, yeah. I've seen so many flashback memories on some of the games, even on the game. Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Centel NBA Live, coming back at you guys with the video that I did. Um, I was at, uh, I seen some people that I knew. I was at like a swap meet, um, slash gaming, uh, convention, slash meetup and greet, sell, trade, stuff like that, you know. Uh, I met met some good people man some people that i knew there uh my buddy of mine went it, they had it two days they had it a saturday and a sunday this was a couple a couple weekends ago actually i'm just doing a recording and this this been happening like i said a couple weeks ago and i've been so busy man uh <clears throat> stuff been going on and good and bad so guys like let's get into it man uh, video games hunting something that you really want something that you 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 was looking for something that you couldn't find on the internet and you're just thinking and you're just hoping maybe i'll come across it here man maybe i'll get that next holy grail just maybe you know and so i've seen a lot of great things that i wanted man and i'm trying to i'm kind of pressed for money now because i'm sitting back and i'm trying to actually save money but it's kind of hard too at the same time but i saw man and i was looking at these nes games Man, the NES games and the Super Nintendo, those earlier games, they have like the best artwork. Even if the game doesn't actually look like that when you get it. Now, most of those NES games, they had some of the best cover art, man. And speaking of that, it's a cover art uh, movie on Tubi. Uh, if you haven't downloaded, download the app uh, on your smartphone, download it on your TV, uh, on your Xbox, on your PS5. Xbox One, PS4, Xbox uh, Series S, X, all your devices, man, your tablets, your iPads, anything that you have that you can download apps, man, and watch free movies. They have great movies also, man. They have uh, uh, first aid titles, low budget, all that, but Tubi, T-U-B-I, that's the app, Tubi, and it's uh they have a documentary on there called uh is it artwork i think it might be called artwork type in video games and it'll come up they got a bunch of games uh, a bunch of gaming stuff on there but it's called artwork and one of the developers man he, he was doing these early nes box covered art games and i thought it was awesome and so like i said man the box cover art when you was young before the internet days before the youtube hole took off before like 2004 2005 area you would actually go to the store blockbuster vision video um southern videos um any of the mom and papa rental stores back in the days hollywood video you know what i'm talking about and you would actually just basically get a game based off the box cover i would honestly i don't know how anybody else would but i would and I was like, yo, this is tight. And then when you got home, of course, it wasn't nothing like the box art. But, you know, you got to hit and miss. Maybe it's a good game. Maybe it's not such a good game. Maybe it's nostalgia now because you're older and you go back and play like, oh, I used to play that game when I was a kid. But, man, moving on, what I want to say, i seen some stuff that I wanted. Uh, like I say, man, retro gaming is for a while been uh, climbing up in prices. And so uh, shout out to my man TB Wells. I just talked to him. And uh, he's in a lab, man. He's uh, putting labels on his games, you know, uh, backwards compatible for the Series X, Series S, Xbox, you know. I think that's pretty cool that Xbox even did that, you know. And, you know, shout out to, like, just the whole gaming community, man. People are just so different in the gaming world, man. It's like a whole nother world, man. It's like you have regular life, then you have aliens, and then you have like we're well, on planet Earth, and then it's Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Then you got the whole planet of games. You got gaming. It's a whole gaming universe, man. The people in the in the community is so nice, man. In the intro, I saw a guy, man, I worked with. He saw me, man. He was just ecstatic, like, oh, I didn't know you were in the games, and it was just an all-out great 
weekend, man, Saturday and Sunday, actually. And um, so, you know, these these uh, events are put on, man, by my buddies, man, uh, uh, Tony and Shane, uh, Game Central Station, guys. Y'all should check them out on actually on Instagram and Facebook. And actually, let me let me go to my Instagram right quick and see. It's Game Central Station on the on Instagram, y'all. Y'all can look them up, but they're pretty good, man. They have a whole, they have a good following, and they're they're all out good guys, you know. And so, man, in the gaming community, man, when you when you look at something and you can sit there for hours and you can talk to somebody about something that you grew up on or something that you really really liked it or something that you were like, oh, I haven't tried that. That that game is similar to this game. Kind of like people referring to movies like oh have you seen this movie oh i'll give you a... and it's some movies that i want to see i hadn't seen man like constantine i haven't even played that game but yeah i, I want to get that game too on the original xbox i saw a sealed copy i like those sealed games that and, and some of these in this video you're going to see some sealed games that have some great stuff some graded stuff uh i don't about graded i mean ah, graded stuff is like ah, i feel like graded stuff is like kind of overrated that's just me and i think it's a bunch of bs honestly but you know here or there whatever how you feel about it but it's a game central station on uh instagram guys it's game like you would spell game in uh, g-a-m-e and then underscore central uh c-e-n-t-r-a-l and then underscore station uh, s-t-a-t-i-o-n and then underscore x actually it's game central station x so it's game underscore central underscore station underscore x so check them out guys they have a, a good following and they they post uh when they're gonna have like these swap meet slash meet and greets a uh, sell buy and trade and so yeah man it was, it was awesome but this was in the mall actually where i live like right beside where i live and so it's 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 like a home body feel it wasn't like a whole bunch of, they had a whole bunch of nice stuff there don't get me wrong man seen some power stone games seen a bunch of uh, dreamcast i seen a game that i i, I seen the nba jam on the atari jaguar i think it was brand new sealed it was like 400 bucks i wanted to get that so bad but i know i didn't need that but you know whatever but yeah guys i'm not gonna talk y'all heads off too much i'm just gonna like you know let y'all listen to the music uh you know saying look at the video games man that i came across and i try to cut this down as uh as as kind of low as i could like far as not like not the quality but like like the the time limit because i didn't want to have like a whole bunch of i didn't want to have an hour long i got a bunch of uh, clips and i recorded stuff with my lg wing because that camera is nicer than my samsung uh phone but I don't use it because LG actually stopped making phones and so I just use the camera for it and I take an SD card and I put it in there and kind of put it in my computer and put it in my flash drive and kind of edit it like that but you know smartphones are going away from the actual SD card thing so it's like the memory so you buy the phone based on the memory 250 gigabytes you know terabyte whatever 60 you can get a sd card a sd key a sd card with 20 uh, 64 gigabytes 32 they, they're moving away from that man so i don't know i guess people are gonna still use like sd card i love sd cards actually uh that's why i got my samsung phone i got one with the sd card slot but we're going into an era where all those are gonna be abs obsolete because people get storage I mean, storage is like it's kind of like at the fresh market you're gonna pay for storage man like you're gonna pay it for day one like you go to the fresh market and get fresh fish and steak you're gonna pay that premium price that's just like a in space man whether you buy a laptop computer uh gaming system you get the nintendo switch you get the steam deck you're gonna you're gonna man you're gonna spend for that uh that extra storage space and my buddy tb wells man he always talks about you know getting the uh the extra and in, internal storage for your xboxes and your games and stuff and, and at first i'm like I, I can just delete the game because i'm not gonna i can't I only can play one game at a time but he's right man like I've, I've got a whole bunch of stuff that i hate that i got it but i got a whole bunch of downloadable games that i've downloaded from my store for the microsoft xbox i paid full price it's digital but it's the game which i really hate because some of the games you couldn't help because I got some games at the time that was only digital, but they came out physical, but some of them hadn't came out physical. Like Alan Wake 2, it dropped 
and I don't think they're gonna drop a physical copy for it. I bought it digital to my Xbox Series X uh, on the Microsoft Store, so it was 59 or 49, one of them I forgot. But I got that, and I got like the medium. I got a digital copy of the medium before it. I got the actual physical copy, which I kept sealed because I love that game so much. And I got the collector's edition from Russia. But you know, I got a whole bunch of games now that I have digital. Like I got. What is that? Uh, Sh Chino Chernobylite, 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 or whatever. I got one of those, and then like I got the medium digital. I got the Alan Wake. Oh, I actually got the uh, Call of Duty Three, and I got it on the digital store. Paid full price for it too, and so I got a whole bunch of other digital games that I can. I got Quake Two. Um, I got the first Quake. I got. Uh, I'm, I'm just spitballing off the head because I I got a lot of digital games, but I got a lot of physical games also. But the digital game library is either they were real cheap or either they didn't come out physical. Like the Alan Wake 2, it didn't come out physical, so I had to get it. I had no choice to get it but digital. But all that plays in a part in, you know, hey, so your space is very important for your Xbox. And so, like, even, like, the Forza Motorsports, the new one, like, I played it first on Game Pass, but I wanted it. I hadn't got the physical. Well, I got a physical copy of that. I do got a physical copy of that. But the games that you play on Game Pass, you still have to download the whole like the game on it so it it, it it still takes up space so you're gonna need that extra space man and the xbox series x i got the day one i got the regular one you know the tall one it has a terabyte but you know give or take that that that's not really a lot nowadays man games are ridiculous like madden's and even the 2k24s they're like 180 gigabytes man like 190 gigabytes after they done downloading and it's I mean, phew, games now used to be, I mean, games now are a lot bigger than games used to be. Games used to be on the N64, like MB, man, like three or four MBs, you know what I'm saying? Like megabytes, like they used to have, like all, you can take an NES uh, library, Sega Genesis, you can download all those games on like an emulator and it's like phew, nothing, you know? But Series X, PS5 games, the new Spider-Man games, the sports games, all the games, the content. By the time they get done, man, you might be at 200, 300 gigabytes with a game nowadays. But yeah, man. So guys, let me let me sign off because I'm gonna just let y'all listen to the beat. Check out going around looking at different tables. I saw a lot of nice stuff. Y'all probably seen some stuff like all oh, you seen, but it was like really I didn't see anything really extra ordinary. I just seen like a whole bunch of good stuff in mint condition and like sealed and some stuff like graded and some stuff that i like like the atari jaguar i saw one actually and i was going to get it man and my buddy he actually pointed it to the guy it was like a jaguar cd controller with it but i didn't really know what it was i actually just wanted the jaguar you know and the guy was gonna sell it to me for i guess about 170 180 and i was gonna trade him like a mint game boy with Link's awakening and stuff but I didn't do it, but I, I think I should have did it, but maybe I'll get I'll get one sooner or later. Alright guys, let me wrap this up, man. It's your boy Cintel NBA Live. Later. Doggy dog.